What's going on everybody? So I'm up north today. And you can tell by the background, you probably already know where I'm at. This is one of my bucket list waters that I've actually never been able to fish before until today. So I'm pretty pumped to see what we can get through the ice. And species I'm going after, actually not going after lake trout. Not really focusing on salmon, but I'll probably set a couple traps for it. But the prime species today is cusk. This is late season fishing here in Maine through the winter. And this is when cusk fishing is probably at its best. So you can catch them readily during the day. I'll try for a couple hours at night too if that doesn't pan out. But yeah, going after some cusk today. So hopefully we got dead bait on bottom and they'll do the trick. So stick around, see how this goes. Well, as I'm pulling into a spot that I think might be productive, I think I, well, I saw what I thought to be at the time. A bunch of sticks on the ice, but apparently some flayed out cusk carcasses there. And then, looks to be. Okay, I guess that is actually wood, but yeah. I'd say just based on that, this might be a good area to uh, start setting up. Ah, oh, it's a perch. What? All right, well, not skunked. That's good at least, so. Well, <laughs> no way. Man, I thought that was a cusk for a second, but yeah. Pretty decent yellow perch. Eh, probably get a flay or two off him. Perfect. Well, get this rebaited, back on bottom for one of the actual fish we're going for. All right, so I barely noticed it, but got our first flag of the day, right in my fire trap with a dead sea smelt in the bottom. So, all likelihood, it's either be a cuss, which is what I'm hoping it'll be. Oh, excuse me, what I'm hoping it'll be. Or, it might be a toad. There's a good number of those in here as well, so. Hoping it's a cusk. Got plenty of toad this season, but hey, I'll take it if it's big enough to eat one of those. <laughs> so, hopefully, when we get up to it, the reel will be spinning. Or if it's a cusk, maybe just sitting there on bottom. But either way, hopefully, there'll be a fish on the end of it. That's the good thing about these jack traps, even though there's really not much wind out today. The good thing about them is the way they're built, they never have a wind flag on them. So, when they go up, you know a fish is either taking your bait or at the very least hit it. Okay. It's not really moving. Oh. Oh, I think it's caught up. Oh yeah, something's definitely on it. Got it. Oh yeah. That's something good. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. There's a, and some head shakes. I'm guessing it's probably a togue. Oh no, we have our first cusk of the season. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. Yes. All right. So, wet my hands real quick. It's in the event I. Actually, I might keep one. Now, it depends on if he's swallowed. If I can get the hook out, I'll probably try to let him go. But as I know here in the state of Maine, yeah, look at that, guys. Beautiful burbot. That is what I'm here for, guys. This is a really unique fish here in the state of Maine. It's a freshwater cod. So it's our only cold water fish other than smelts, which I'm debated whether it's kind of debatable whether they really count as an official game fish or not but this is our only official non-salmonid cold water game fish they're a relative of stuff like pollock haddock and obviously atlantic cod out in the ocean so let me see if i can get the hook out all right there all right beautiful cusk so get a couple pictures with him and yeah, actually i'll keep i think he's 20s yeah, so i'll keep a couple of them about this size and then everything else i'll release but this is a good eater so i'll keep one and then just get some fried cusk bit uh, nuggets and well we'll go from there so we got our target species of the day one perch one cusk and get that rebated keep fishing all right so what I'm using for bait today. I was kind of hesitant on using it at first just because I didn't know if they'd be really big enough to eat it or not. 
but I'll show you what I've got right here in my sealed bucket because I don't like smelling this in my car but some old um, back from last year some sea smelts they were my freezer so I figured hey why not have a good way to help use these guys up which will crush the tail a little bit help get the scent in the water I don't have them quite on bottom I have them up about maybe an inch or two but regardless okay I'll poke the there we go I'll make sure the air bladder's punctured that way they actually sink which so it still isn't so there that should do it all right yeah that did it so I'll drop that right back bottom get the cusk back to our spot and then hopefully can do a couple more of those and maybe a salmon if we're really lucky but I think this is the spot to go and hopefully before the day's out we'll have a bunch through the ice all right so back to the jig hole hoping to be able to jig one up now that we got one in the trap it'd be pretty cool to have that happen never I've hooked into a couple once on jig rods but I haven't ever been able to land one so Ideally, if they're close up to shore, I mean, it's, I mean, it is fairly close, but I mean, you're in like a, we're in like a flat area, and it's about, I think, 30, 35 feet of water, give or take, so should be a good area for them to be in right around this time of year, even in the day, so hopefully, we've got a little bit of a, we've got half of a couple day old smelt uh, cut up and put on the end of a small Swedish pimple, so I had good luck jigging lake trout up with it, brook trout, and a few other stuff, obviously that perch that you saw earlier. So, with any short of luck, if there's a burbot in the area, cusk, whatever you call it, where uh, you're from, for those watching, hopefully, we get them on. Alright, just hooked into what I'm pretty sure is another perch, so it's pretty tiny, yep, so, get another one of these, now, typically, we be releasing them, but they are invasive in this uh, particular water, so... Unfortunately for this guy, he won't be going back. So, take that, take my bait, and pop on the ice. So, there's that. Probably have to go swap out the bait on that one now that they're hitting big baits. Maybe put the mackerel out on the second one out. But yeah, go over there, get that changed, and get back to hopefully getting some more cusk. So one thing that I had stored with my, um, uh, smelts from uh, before with some small mackerel so they're nice and oily so i'll drop this one down to bottom i know they're big enough to be hitting the larger size baits so hopefully with any shred of luck they're nice and oily we'll put off enough of a good scent that anything in the area will come in toward it and well with any shred of luck eat it i know they're a little bit bigger than the smelts but hopefully i know there's some really big cusk in this particular body of water so they're in the area, they should smell that thing pretty easily. Whew. Yeah. Potent freezer burnt mackerel does uh does smell pretty pretty ranky, so something they like, they like rotten stuff, dead stuff. They're primarily scavengers, so and they hunt with their they hunt by scent and motion more than sight, like a lot of other game fish do, like uh, salmon or trout. So Big smelly baits on bottom, usually the way to go to get some cusk. So get that thing down on bottom, go check my salmon traps, make sure the shiner's still alive. You go from there. The salmon traps was a good check earlier. That one went off. It's moving a little bit. Oh, now it's going. Okay. Maybe it's salmon? I don't really know what it is yet, but... Oh, yeah, it's running good. Got it. Okay. Not really sure what this is decent weight to it whatever it is but oh it is a salmon nice 
Look at that, everybody. Perfect. Well, there's both my target species of the trip. Sweet. And this, let's see, is it a wild one? Nope, stalked. Hey, I'll take it though, guys. Look at that. Beautiful little salmon. So I'll probably have to cut this and I'll probably swap that trap over to here for a little bit. Just so I can have a salmon set in the water. But yeah, perfect. Look at that, everybody. Nice. So, do a quick pick with it. With that trap. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna do the ethical thing. I'm not gonna obviously harvest this, even though it, I don't even think it would be legal if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna cut the line, play it safe. I don't see the hook and it's skull it, and I, well, double check. So I can get the hook out. Ideally, that's the way you wanna do it, but if not, no big deal. Cut the ice down in, so that's what you wanna do. Cut it close to the mouth. One final look, make sure to keep your hands wet. Let them go. Sweet. So that's good. Both my target species today have been caught. Nice. So I'll probably take my OG trap, put it over here, and then come back and get a hook for this one. Just cause I kinda put that one arguably a little bit too far out than I wanted to, but hey, all worth it in the end. Awesome. All right, well, let me get this uh, mess of line untangled, but I'm debating whether I'm gonna just drop down another one for cusk and leave just this one for salmon, because I don't know what the deal is, but every year I'm trying to get one off of this trap. I've only ever caught two off of it to like tops for salmon. I don't know why, but I can't get one off of this trap to save my life. I get a ton off the little jack, a lot off my big bob salmon setup, but my OG one that I got from a game warden 15 or so years ago, Cannot produce salmon. Don't know why, but hopefully now that that's in the appears to be honestly the hole I should have put it in before. I debated it, but maybe it's just me second guessing it, just trying to get this on a salmon and not putting it in the right spot. But either way, I'm happy with it today. Hopefully we can get another salmon cuss through the ice, but either way, we're off to a very productive start. I think it's actually fighting pretty good, but I don't know if this is another perch or oh it's a little cusk on a jig. Nice! actually pulled it off sweet oh don't tell me you swallowed my jig oh no it's down there. okay good sweet though nice little cusk and a jig rod awesome well i guess i got that uh knocked off the bucket list for the day sweet something just hit it a second ago so i wasn't sure what it was but i guess this answers that question i'll get a quick pick of him and then Get the jig out of his mouth and send him back down. Back down he goes. Sweet. Three cusk on the board. So, the last little guy that I jigged up, which put up one heck of a good fight, ended up uh, breaking off the hook. So, got pretty tough jaws for freshwater fish. So, Put on a new hook. Unfortunately, I had a couple backups from some of my other um, switch pimples, but I like using silver. Got a new uh, smelt head on. So pretty much like I was doing before, in case anyone else really wants to get into jigging them. What I like to do is take a little small Swedish pimple, cut a um, short smelt in half. You saw the size of that one. It's basically the other half of it. So if they're bigger, you can probably cut them into thirds, or if they're really small, like pen smelts, I can sometimes use them whole, but like pretty much just do this, you know, drop it on bottom and just kind of twitch it. And then, just like you saw there, came in and smacked it. So, pretty good fight. Fight I had him hit before, which I thought was just a perch. So, I think he hit right on the drop down or hit back to the bottom. But, either way, I'm happy to have caught him and hopefully we'll get into a few more. Third time's a charm. Let's see if there's another Cusk on this one. Oh, it took a off an interesting angle. Okay. Oh, there's weight. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got him. 
Doesn't feel too heavy, but actually starting to feel pretty good. The camera pan down actually so you can see it. Yeah, feels okay. Oh yeah, another solid burb. Woo, let's go. Yes. Nice. Okay, ready for a picture. Boom. All right. Not a bad cusk. Get my hand wet real quick. Get the... oh, he's pretty lively, isn't he? All right. Hoping, okay, yeah, it's not hooked too bad. All right. That flyer's out. The hook popped. It's in the wrong pocket. It's not a bad one. Not quite as big as I hoped it would be, but I'll take it. But you could tell though, I mean, the whole sea smelt lengthwise probably comes about there ish on it, so definitely they, they like to eat big bait. So if you think you've got something a bit too small for them. Probably have nothing to worry about. There. Yeah, he gets a whole sea smelt out of it, so make sure you keep your hands wet. And final look at him. Holes are at a little bit of an angle, so it's a little bit tough for him to get down, but. All right, now he's found hope. Oh, coughed it up. <laughs> Probably just adjusting to the different pressures. Actually. Burp him real quick. There, that should help. There, there he goes. Solid. Fourth burbot, cusk of the day. And the man, the myth, the legend, Lataro has arrived. So we got a full on kitchen set going on here for those perch. And we got solar panels to charge stuff. So got a pretty good operation going here. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. So, yeah, with any shred of luck, we should get into a few more. I mean, the bite's been pretty, pretty consistent all day, so. We'll get a couple traps in the water for you and then we'll get those perch cooking. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so, let's see. Alright, so I don't see the little marker, so I'll pull up though. Yeah, see. It's nice how the ice isn't reforming. Like last time, yeah, see. It's right there, that little marker. Yeah. At this point, yeah. Not too big, but pretty much probably swallowed it. But yeah, if you feel like if we'll pull on it a little bit. Yeah, see. Oh yeah, you got something. Probably a little one, but you'll you'll yeah, see that. Yeah, it was like a toad. You'd see, you'd feel like a. I think I just saw something. Yep. Oh, there it is. Little guy. Yep. Nice. This little cusk. See? These are where all the cusks are at then. There's yeah, but yeah, I think the whole, the whole, I think ate the whole sea smelt. So they're. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty ravenous looking fish. to the trap and then are you gonna reduce it or are you gonna keep yeah it? they're not really if they're like not like 20 21 inches they're really not worth keeping they're just really not that big well, for the amount of effort you'd put in to get the meat off of one like that i guess yeah it is too small it's perfectly still 
They're pretty looking fish. Yeah. Probably dig into an aquarium or something. It'd be cool to have one in then. Yeah. Let's see. This is very alive though. Oh yeah. Let me get him to cooperate just a little bit. So, one final look at him, and then. Survive, but yeah, pretty looking fish. There he goes. <laughs> nice. All right, so he's hauling his stuff back to his uh, car. Hopefully, it'll stay in. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's lopsided. The solar panel is just really heavy compared to everything else. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, this is this looks a little more stable. Yeah, I guess that's pretty messy. Okay, so not too much. I have no clue. Oh, this is part of it. Oh, we forgot to have a cover. A little plug. Stable. Well, round two. <laughs> and there he goes. There he goes, back to the dock and back to the car. Well, you just set the board off to the side, you're good. All right, right on the cuss trap. Yeah, and really? yeah, there's a fish. Oh yeah, there is, I feel it. Yep. And then, right as we get back, that flag we just set down went off, so. I think it's a good one. Oh, you can keep it on, you're good. Yeah, it won't come off of this. Just don't like a slack. Yeah. It's a good size, I think. Still on there. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Wow, look at that. There you go, man. Little one. Go. Sweet. Here, hold up. I'll get a picture with you, man. Yeah. Probably should hold it up in there. Wow, it's slimy. Yeah, you want a two-hand hold for it. So we can get that unhooked and hopefully that one down there will be a little bit bigger, but it's gonna be goofy eyes. Yeah. The eyes are pointing so, different directions. Yeah. Oh yeah, not that badly hooked in there. I'll leave him the food, I guess. Yeah, he's earned that much. Alright. Do you wanna release him? Yeah, he's not that big. Okay. Is there over 21 there? Oh yeah. 
All right, Lataro on the board with one. He goes. There he goes. Little baby cusk. Sweet. All right. Let's find another dead one, drop it down, and then we'll go get that other one. All right. All right, man, you got one off the uh, cusk board. Oh yeah, it's moving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got a cusk on the end of this. Oh yeah, it's gone. Oh yeah, take it, that might actually be a laker. Right here, yep. Set up to the side, just get a good tug. Yeah, I feel it. Oh yeah, set the hook, pull it in, yep. Yeah, you wanna go a little bit faster, there you go. Feel good? Yeah, it's still on there. Perfect. Any head shakes to it? No, it feels pretty much constant. Okay, no, I, I feel it. Yeah, there it goes. It's doing the, the thing. Perfect. Feel kind of cusky or different than the other one? Uh, it feels kind of big. Oh. I, I see by the hole I can stomp it if it needs to go yeah, through. probably a little bit more. I'm not sure if it'll fit. Should do it. Yeah, this thing's big. Perfect. Is he still on there? Oh, that's not bad. Nice. That's pretty. That's a pretty big. Cut. Yeah, man. Look at that. That is big. Nice. Don't be a bad one if you want to keep one. Yeah, I can keep it. Perfect. It'll fit in the bucket. Mm, it's kind of hard to fit it. Kind of well, I don't know. I mean, well, let's see how this hook. I think that's yeah. probably the first thing. Wait, did it pop off? No, I don't think so. Right? Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's just a transparent line. Let's see. So quit moving for just a minute. Let me get yeah, the hook out of Let's see. Oh yeah, I think yeah, he swallowed that. All the way in. Uh from what I can see, yeah. Okay, so I guess we keep it. Yeah, I mean if you want one keeper, that's a decent enough size for it. Alright. Alright, well hey. So we'll dispatch that and then uh get this rebated. All right, so we got a nice pink sunset over the mountains. Great view, and I mean, really couldn't have asked for a better, better background to a great day of cusp fishing. And on that note, probably our final flag of the day on the, say like eight inch mackerel that got obliterated earlier. <laughs> Any shred of luck, this will be a really big one. What do you think we'll trial? You gonna have one on? I'm hoping. That's that's a good one. That is a good one. Holy, that's a good one. That's pulling good. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a monster, dude. I knew it. Oh yeah. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop. Yeah! Look at that big old burbot. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> That's one to end on, on a mackerel. On a freaking mackerel, dude. Big boy. Oh, man.
That's a new PB. That is a new PB. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, I don't know, should I keep it? I don't know. You can't keep it? Oh, I can, but I don't know. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, I gotta get a picture of this. Can you move like the trap just behind him? Yeah, just up right in the back. I'll try to get a background shot with them. That's a good one to end it all off on, man. Let's see, this is gonna be 24, 25 maybe. Let's see, just start two. Oh, that's a 28 inch bourbon. Oh, that is big. All right. I don't know if I can keep that one. That's. Could. I could, but actually, meat off it too. we'll see how he's hooked. Oh man, that's a big fish. That is a big, big fish. Let's see. Oh yeah. I'll definitely have, to have a picture with him. Oh yeah, it's in there pretty good. All right, well, yeah. Yeah, so I guess oh, we'll get a picture with it. If we release it, we'll have that little clip. If not, He'll be filleted up, but all right, guys, that's a good one to end it off on. All right, buddy, so it is dark now, so Latar, how many did you get? Three. Three fish. I got, I think, six or seven-ish, I don't know. So we made a pretty solid haul out of here today. Got a couple of the keeper cusk here. Got that one from earlier, the big one earlier, and then the big one to, yeah, just gotta pry them out. Get a little keeper haul together here so the 26 incher got the 22 incher and then two yellow perch so that's our keeper haul for the day so all in all we did pretty good out here so it's a little bit dark right now because we're just about ready to set out take our traps out of the water but had a great day burned through a lot of bait finally got something on the dead mackerel and burned up a lot of those old sea smelts head in the freezer so thanks again for watching guys if you want trips like this in the future antler test guide service we will be offering it once that's up and running so Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, hit subscribe. We'll have some maybe more ice fishing content coming out after this. If not, it'll be open water. But anyway, guys, as always, until next time, tight lines.